For indeed with hardship is ease. Indeed with hardship is ease. Welcome to episode 12 of the Ramadan series on gratitude brought to you by Solace Islamic Mental Health Services. These verses that I just shared with you are often misunderstood and people think that they suggest that ease comes after hardship. Instead, these ayat mean that ease comes with hardships. Let's try and understand it with the help of the example of Urwa. Urwa bin Zubair was the son of Asma bint Abu Bakr and Zubair radiallahu ta'ala anhuma. He was also the nephew of Aisha, the wife of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he learned a lot from being in her company radiallahu ta'ala anha. Urwa bin Zubair used to follow the sunnah of Prophet meticulously. It is reported that he even fasted on the hardest of days and would engage in worshipping Allah during nights. Al-Walid bin Abdul Malik, the Khalifa of Damascus, once invited Urwa and his son to Damascus. So Urwa accepted the invitation and went to Damascus along with his son Muhammad. However, the events in Damascus didn't turn out to be well. Muhammad Arwa's son was preparing for his return when one of the Khalifa's horses lost control and trampled him to death. Soon after that, Arwa himself developed gangrene that infected his foot and he was informed that in order to prevent the infection from spreading, the leg has to be amputated. When Urwa returned to Medina, he could perhaps read the horror on the faces of the people because people saw Urwa going to Damascus on his feet and with his young handsome son and now he is returning with one foot and the son missing. But Urwa, the strong man that he was, addressed all the people confidently and said, Do not be frightened with what you see. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon me four sons and he has taken back only one and allowed me to remain with three. So for him is the praise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me four limbs and has taken only one and allowed me to remain with three. So for him is the praise. I swear to you by Allah that if he has taken from me a little, then he has caused to remain with me much. And if he has tried me once, then he has forgiven me many times. This is the power of focus. When faced with a trial from Allah, such as loss of something or someone dear to us, we have the option to dwell on our loss or concentrate on what remains. Urwa bin Zubair's story is a powerful example of choosing gratitude and focusing on blessings amidst severe adversity. Despite encountering a very challenging test from Allah, Urwa chose to acknowledge and be grateful for the blessing he still had. In your journal today, mention three events that apparently took something away from you but allowed you to remain with many other things. And let's be grateful to Allah for what He has allowed to remain with us. The simple act of finding silver linings help us to see that even in tough times, there's always something positive to hold on to. And also remember, when the goings get tough, the tough gets going.